Okay, guys, we're going to play around with this map um, app a little bit just to show you kind of the basics of uploading and downloading maps, saving maps, modifying maps, etc. Okay, when you're in mapping, your tuner, this is a 2019 YZ450, and there's a, I have links below to other uh, tuner videos that may help you. And if you haven't, you know, learned how to set it up, you can look at the what I call my Setup 101 and then some maintenance log uh, links down below for kind of a maintenance log workaround. But anyway, mapping wise, I came with three stock maps, the linear, the smooth, and the hard, as you can see here. I'm connected to the bike through Wi-Fi. You guys already know that. And what's so what map are you currently running? Well, it's usually the last map that you uploaded or downloaded. So this was the last map sent in my experimenting today. And I'm using my old phone as my dirt bike phone so I could film with my new one, but it's kind of a nice idea to be able to use this at the track and not worry about it as much as this old phone. But anyhow, okay, so as you can see, I just was screwing around the numbers. There's a four there and a four there. You may know, may or may not know that the, the maps, the map with all the zeros is stock. So when you leave the zeros, you are now creating a custom map. Say for example, this linear hard pack one is custom. You got the dashes over here and all the, you know, changes over there. So if you have a, uh, this is my last map on the phone and I uploaded this just as an experiment. Now, how do I know that's the last map? Well, or what's on there? Let's say you don't know what's on there and you're not sure what's going on. You could add a new map spot and you see that map too, and you can label it and just say latest download or something like that latest download so now i know latest oops oh well all right i'm just going to call it download for now but you see the, the the point i'm getting at so this is my new spot it's a stock format all zeros and it's my new spot to see what's on the bike right now so these little that's the upload arrow and that's the download button so now i'm going to hit the download and receive the map, yes. And I'm, I'm overriding map one. On this 19450, there's really no spots to have a map one, map two, because there's no hot button on the handlebar to flip, flip between maps. It's kind of a weird thing in the 19. They put a launch button up there instead of a map switch button. So, you know, on other bikes, there was a map button. So this may have, may have applied, but here it doesn't. So I'm going to download what I have on there into this blank map holder here that what i call download and we're going to see what was on there now i'm probably having trouble connecting because i haven't uh i may have lost my wi-fi connection we'll see what happens here uh hopefully this works well it's taking too long so let's go see what happened to our wi-fi setting yeah it uh must have timed out so let me just click the button again and time back into my wi-fi that's the only thing that's a little annoying with this thing it times out fairly quickly I thought when I was dancing around in there, the thing would stay live, but it tends to time out once in a while. So bear with me for one second while we reconnect and I'll refresh these Wi-Fi's and up pops the GYTR. We connect again, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back to our app. How do we know we're connected? Okay, it failed to receive that map because we weren't connected. How do we know we're connected? Just go over to maintenance. As soon as you see your hours, you know you're connected. We'll go back to maps and do what we were doing. We were going to download what's on the bike into this blank 000 map and into map one. Yeah, that's fine. So now I know what was on the bike because I'm dumping it into this blank download labeled map. And again, of course, I'm having a connection issue. Damn it. This thing's frustrating me. Okay, it worked. Map received, and you can see the last thing I had dumped onto the bike was this 441. So yeah, now you know that that's what was sitting on the bike. This one I labeled download, which was all zeros until I dumped down what was on the bike and I overrode it with what was sitting on the bike and that's why you now see the fours. Okay, so that being said, let's say we wanna go back to stock. Don't worry about it. You can play around with these things any way you want. You could totally screw with it. I'm gonna do this at the track maybe even tomorrow and play with the maps and try to set up a map that's good for uh, trail riding and so forth. But Let's go back and keep this thing live. Here's my bone stock map, which is BS because that's not bone stock anymore. 
So if you want to change it, I'm going to get rid of that four. You hit on the four and you bop it down to zeros. You back out. I'm going to change this, get rid of those two fours, bop it down to zero. You can see that. Go over to this four, bop it down to zero. Oops, for some reason. Oh, you can do two things at once. So let me, yeah, you can actually highlight a bunch of blue things at once. Oops. And you can change more than one at a time, just so you know. I actually didn't hit two, but now I got that all zeroed out. So bone stock, see all my zeros, that is a bone stock setting. So now I can dump this, upload it onto the bike. Hit it in the map one spot, yes, because that's the map on this bike. I succeeded, and you can see date and time of when that happened, and that's why we're happy. So now that truly is my bone stock setting. So if I want to get rid of these goofy ones I was playing with, that's super simple. I just hold on it and delete the thing and she is gone delete okay I don't know what happened there but she's not cooperating we're gonna go back and we are going to go to this map which is also not bone stock this map one two three and I say okay yep we killed that one and this one must have just been hung up earlier. We killed that one. And this is just a goofy four map that I set up. And I'm going to kill that one. Yes, or okay. So you've got your, okay, so you want to dump, okay, maybe you're riding on some slippery stuff. I actually think I may have loaded the wrong map when I was trying to detune this thing. I think a mellower one might have been this hard pack because... You can see all the dashes and some, actually they added fuel in the early RPMs there. And then they dropped some zeros. I think zeros are greater than the dashes. So I'm going to upload this map to the bike. That's how easy it is. Boom. And now we are using that map because it's number one on the list. And then bone stock is all the zeros, as you remember. So don't be afraid to play around with it. Um, you can't screw it up. That's the beauty of this thing. So I'm going to go back to bone stock or upload it, say okay. And again, it's that simple. This is now my map number one. As you can see, it's number one on the list. And if I look in the bone stock, that is the latest date and time. So that's what you can do, okay? So again, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna play with this thing seriously tomorrow, I think. There again is your little map profile, that little green mountain that you can create, or topography. And you know, you, you can see the RPMs and so forth. I won't continue on. I've showed you basically how to dump the maps up and down, how to create new ones, how to delete them. I think you can take it from there, and I'll do some more experimenting with uh, trying different maps probably tomorrow at the track and on the trails. Well, I'm going to be at a track, and we'll see what happens. I hope that helps you guys. Again, I appreciate any subscriptions, and there's links below to other mapping things I've done. Thanks again.